Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is the follow-up video on the garage uh, freezer temperature monitoring system that I started. So if you remember, I am monitoring my garage uh, freezers using one of these, or a couple of these actually, the Inkbird IBS TH2, a Bluetooth uh, low energy sensor. I'm using that to monitor the temperature inside. And I was using a combination of Home Assistant and the ESP32 uh, microcontroller with the ESP Home plugin to accomplish all that. So this video is not about that. Uh, watch the previous video if you want the details. But if you recall, it was uh, dangling off the server right there. Well, that's gone. And what we have instead is the final form here in the mechanical room. I've got the PoE version up and running. So that is an ESP32, and I apologize for the noise. I'm in a server closet, what can you do? So that's an ESP32 uh, microcontroller with a PoE ethernet connection on it, which is very nice, which means that single cable can, can give me both power uh, and ethernet, all in one cable. So it is very convenient. Uh, I have that in a 3D printed case uh, that I made with the 3D printer. The lid, it came with a lid, but it does not, like, see, it doesn't stay on. It doesn't clip well. So, that's what you get when you use someone else's stuff. So, uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe I'll fix it one day or glue it or something. I really don't care. But for now, it's working. And I just ran uh, that cable back into my patch panel here, right to the back of this, of uh, where is it? This patch panel here, all right? And then we're patched in right here. And so um, that actually filled up my PoE patch panel. So I've got uh, on the back side, you can see, I am full up to number 12. So if I ever turn all those slots on at once and I add any more stuff, uh, I'm gonna need a bigger switch. But I got a long ways before that happens. So this, but this is the kind of reason why I, when I spec this out, right, I went ahead and got a second one of these, uh, of these patch panels so I could have up to 48 uh, PoE connections, right? 24 for general PoE and 24 for cameras. Uh, just to, just so you got future expansion. Always plan for that. But anyway, there it is. Uh, running. Uh, it's been running solid since I did it. Uh, took a little bit of fiddling with the configuration to make it happy. Um, but uh, once I got that, uh, it's been rock solid ever since. So I highly recommend uh, Home Assistant for the home automation platform and the ESP Home a uh, set of plugins to basically take an ESP32 microcontroller and make it do whatever you want it to do. So uh, that's all I got. Short video, just wanted to do the follow up to show you that I got it working. Uh, the next home automation that I have with this, because I have another case and another board, I am going to do propane monitoring down at the gate. Um, you can get a DLE propane sensor that goes on the bottom of the tank. And, uh, and basically do the same thing. So uh, that will be a future video. I have no idea when, but sometime. When it happens, I'll be sure to film it. So thanks for watching the channel as always, and we'll see you in the next one.